Hello guys, my name is Balakrishna Shivastav and welcome to Code with PK. So in this video, we solve question 10 of 2023 IC Computer Science Theory Paper. So before we begin, it is a request to please, 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 please subscribe to my channel because out of 100 views, only one or two are subscribed and your subscription is very important. So please, 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 please do subscribe to my channel. Let's begin. So this is question 10 of 2023 IIC Computer Science Theory paper and give this a reading and again for all the questions I solve for IIC boards paper, I always recommend reading the question very carefully from the first letter to the last letter. So give it a minute and read it completely. Okay. So this is the question about inheritance and we have to create the class supply for this given class demand. It says assume that the super class demand has been defined. Using the concept of inheritance, specify the class apply, given details of constructor, calculation, and word display. Super class, main function, and algorithm are not needed. Okay? All right? But obviously, I am going to write a main to test this out, but you don't have to. Okay? So let me just create a demand class so that I can code supply. Okay? So I have obviously folded my demand class because when you're solving this question in the paper, you won't be having access to demand class. You just have to understand the concepts and code the supply class. Okay? So it says specify the class supply. So I have to say class supply. Okay. Keeping the name of the class exactly the same. It says supply is a subclass. So you have to say extends demand. Okay. So let's look at the data members of supply class. It says p produced is an integer to store the quantity. So I say private int. This is p produced. P produced. Okay keeping the name of the data member exactly the same and then you have to store the cost per unit in decimal so you say private double p rate okay the next part is parameterize constructor to assign values to the data members of both the classes okay so i say public supply okay so the data members in this class are this p produced and p rate and data members in the super class is the parent class is PID, P name and P demand, which is a string, string and an integer. So we will have to take the values for these three and then these two in this supply constructor. So I have to take values in the supply constructor, which are string PID, string P name, int P demand, int P produced and double P rate. So I say string PID, then string P name, that's the name of the variable, right? And then int P demand okay followed by the data members needed for this supply class which are p produced which is an int okay and then double p rate okay and it says assign values to the data members of both the classes so whenever you are creating the constructor of a subclass the first line always has to be calling the constructor of the super class so i have to say super using the super keyword pass in the pid the name and the demand okay okay so obviously you don't know what is the signature of the construct for the demand class but you can safely assume this the only thing they want to check is that you're passing all the values for the data members of this demand class through this supply class using super key okay and then you set this dot p produced is p produced okay or you can say maybe pp Okay, I don't want to use PP, I'll go with P produced. Okay, I don't mind using this keyword. I say this P rate is P rate. Okay, you can choose different variable names for this argument, but I'm going to keep it this way. Okay, so a constructor is done. Then we have the next method, which is calculation, which returns the difference between the amount of demand defined as rate into demand and the amount produced rate into produced. Okay, so since this is a member method, I'm going to make it public. The return type is double okay and the name of the method is calculation calculation okay does not take any arguments okay you have to find a difference between amount of demand so i'll say double amount of demand which is defined as the rate into demand so i'll say p rate into p demand okay now p demand is a data member for this super class demand okay and I am assuming, I have to assume that I have access to this P demand data member. Assuming that this P demand is protected so that the subclass can use this. Okay. 
all right because there is no getter method given here in the member functions for this demand class so from the two options that you can assume one is that demand class has a getter for these data members or that this p demand is protected i am going to go with p demand is protected because some way i want to access this p demand okay this is done then we have double amount produced which is p rate into p produced okay these both members are within this class okay so there is no issue there okay and you have to return the different so i say return amount of demand minus amount produced okay this is it keeping to the requirement returns the difference between and this okay so amount of demand minus amount produced so my calculation is done as well moving on to display so this is public void display which says that you have to display details of the product and the difference in amount of demand and amount of supply by invoking the method calculation the first thing you have to do is display the details of the product okay and there is a display method in the super class as well okay so basically they are trying to check that if you are overriding you are able to call the member method of the parent class so the first thing you do is super dot display call the method the display method of this demand class okay because it is defined here okay this will do the displaying of the details of the product and that is all you have to worry about displaying the details the next thing you have to display is difference in amount of demand and amount of supply so i say system dot out dot print ln difference in amount of demand and amount of supply okay by invoking the calculation function so i simply say calculation that's it okay so this displays the details and this displays the difference in amount of demand and amount of supply and i also will display i'll say quantity produced okay plus p produced okay i'll say the rate okay okay so my display method is done as well so it says super class main function is not written but i have written this so that i can compile all right so let me just compile this first java c question 10 okay compiles now let me create an object of this supply so as a supply supply new supply okay it takes five arguments so pid i'll say id just for the product id i'll say for name i'll just say name for p demanded is 100 produced is 80 i'll say rate is 3.4 okay and i'm then going to call supply dot display okay compiling this again yep runs let me run this okay so in this case what output you should get is basically the details like id name 180 3.4 and then the difference okay so when i run this i get product id product name product demand okay from this display super dot display then quantity produced and rate from here and then the difference from this calculation which is like 100 minus 80 into 3.4 which is 68 okay so this is the solution to this problem and let me show you this demand class now okay so you have seen kept this at protected the speed demand if i keep this private this will not work if i make this private okay and then i compile it won't work okay it has to be protected or there has to be a getter for tp demand if this is private but i'm going this going with this protected okay this is the constructor that takes id name and tp demand that i have passed here in this very same order and then this display method that simply displays the values of the data members like this so in the output when you call this display okay you get these three lines of output first which are here okay all right and i will add the link of the code in the description of this video as well and if there is something that i did not understand in this question please let me know in the comments and if you want me to solve this in hindi as well please let me know in the comments i will add a video of this in hindi on my hindi channel as well so please like this video subscribe to my channel and share my video and if there was something that you did not like about this video please just don't press the dislike button please also let me know in the comments what was it that you did not like about this video so that i can improve on my further videos 
and you can always let me know in the comments if there is a question you want to solve or this concept you want to discuss thank you